Hey guys, it's me Ali. Welcome back to my channel. I hope they're all having a beautiful start to your day. I am here today to do two unboxings. I have the Boxy Charm for May 2016 and the Ipsy bag for May 2016. If you're unfamiliar with any of these subscription services, I will link all their information in the description below, along with some previous unboxings so you can get a wide variety of what they are all about. If you have any other questions and concerns, just ask them in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And without further ado, we're gonna get right into these unboxings. So we're going to start today with the Ipsy unbagging, and Ipsy is one of my all-time favorite subscription services. If you follow my channel, you know how I feel about Ipsy. I freaking love them. It's only $10 a month, and they just crush it with all of their bags. So this is what the bag looks like for this month, and I'm really, really digging it. It has little symbols from all over the world, like the Eiffel Tower, the Statue of Liberty, the Coliseums, and just a ton of different things from all over the world, and that's really, really fun. This is more of a vinyl bag. Usually their bags have like a zipper on the top. This one has a connecting pouch, which is pretty awesome because like I said, it's vinyl. So this is kind of perfect for a travel bag. It's kind of like water resistant. It has that, you can hear that. It has like that water resistant feel to it. So yeah, I'm really liking the bag for this month. So the very first thing that I'm pulling out of the Ipsy bag for May 2016 is by Pacifica. We have received so many Pacifica products from Ipsy before and it's really great quality so no complaining here. This is the Natural Mineral Coconut Eyeshadow Trio and it looks like they're all very natural nude colors which is perfect for me because like I've said a billion times that's really all I wear in my eye are those natural nude-ish type colors. It looks like we're getting a tan, a gold, and a bronze and yeah these are really pretty. This is Skinny Dip, Crush, and Lovely, 100% vegan and cruelty free. The next thing I'm pulling out of the bag, I'm kind of just, I don't know, so-so about. I received this probably five times from Ipsy before for the past three years that I've been subscribing to them. This is the Epis or Epis, I never know how to pronounce that name, my apologies. This is just the hydrating mask and I'm sure it's a great product, I've actually never used it before so maybe I should just grab all the other ones that I have in my bathroom and start using them but I'm very nervous about using face masks from Ipsy because my face is just super sensitive but I mean it's only $10 a month so I really can't do too much complaining, you're bound to get a product that you're not going to be super thrilled about and and this is that product for me. Following the hydrating mask, the next thing I'm pulling out is by the brand Aurora and I received Aurora brands from Ipsy a ton of times before and I love, love their products so I'm really excited about this one. This is the Aurora of New York and it looks like it is a nail polish. The color looks very, very vibrant. I hope that the camera is even picking up how vibrant that is. That is like a neon orange color which is pretty fun for the summer months coming up. This is the Gel Effect Nail Liqueur made in Italy and again it is by Aurora and it says no UV needed so it's kind of like one of those gel nail polishes that you don't have to go to the salon for and this color is intense. There are two things left in the bag, and as always, I'm going to save what I believe to be the best for last. So the second to last thing that I'm pulling out is by Vera Mona, and it is an eyeshadow brush. I really appreciate Ipsy for sending all of the brushes. I'm pretty sure that all of my makeup brushes that I own in my collection come from either Ipsy or from the ELF brand from CBS. I don't really ever spend a lot of money on makeup brushes because I'm not super into like professionally done makeup. So I really appreciate Ipsy for sending all of these because I kind of get a semi-professional feel for $10 a month. And the final thing in the bag for this month is from one of my favorite, favorite, favorite makeup companies. It is the It Cosmetics. If you follow me on my channel, you know that I use It Cosmetics to cover up all of my rosacea. I use the Bye Bye Under Eye, which is supposed to be used underneath your eyes to cover up baggage, but I actually use it all over my face. It's the only thing that covers up all of my redness. As you can tell, it, I mean, it works pretty well. I think it works pretty well. And this is by It Cosmetics. I'm obsessed with their brand. This is the clinically proven, waterproof, all day, no tug waterproof gel eyeliner. That is a mouthful. So again, it's just a little sample size, but who really cares? I mean, who really uses an entire thing of eyeliner anyways? I never do, so I'm fine with the sample size, and it's just this tiny little guy, but again, it's by It Cosmetics, and it is the gel eyeliner, so it should go on smoother. 
yeah, it goes on really, really smooth. Definitely really defined, and it's like that jet black color, jet black color, which is absolutely perfect for me. That's really all I tend to wear. And that is it. That's everything I received in the Ipsy bag for May 2016, and that was another home run bag for me. I just feel like Ipsy does such a great job curating their bags. I am super beyond pumped to try out this nail polish. I just feel like it's one of those like boom in your face nail colors, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun for the spring and the summer. So now we're going to move on to the Boxy Charm box, and again, this is for May 2016. I received my first Boxy Charm last month, and I was really really impressed with them so I'm giving it another go this is the spring vibes it's more than just a feeling and this is what their box looks like when you open it up we are getting one two three four five six products this month so the first thing I'm playing out of the box for May 2015 is the double ego dual ended eyeliner and this is by Pierre and it looks like it's a fun teal color. I'm not sure if that's just the box, but I'm really hoping it's like that really fun teal color. The whole box is in teal as well, and that would be really fun. I like those kind of bold eyeliners for a night out. Not for everyday wear, but just for a night out, it makes it a lot of fun, and it. It is, so it's a nice little teal color, so you can definitely see the difference between the teal and the black, and this is going to be really fun. We get the crayon on one side, and on the other side, we get the liner. It is the liquid liner, and it's so pretty. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So this is a really awesome start to the BoxyCharm box. I am living for these colors. The next thing I'm pulling out is by Ella and Mila. This is a nail polish. It is polished with love, vegan and animal cruelty free. And I'm not really sure what the color is. It kind of looks like a, yeah, so it's like a very, very pale mint green. It's kind of like a pastel-y color. Not super in love with this color. It just seems kind of blah, but I mean, I'm sure when you put it on, it's going to look a lot better, but I really do like the packaging a lot. Next up, we have a box from CM. This is Romance de Province, and this is by Catherine Malandrino. I don't have a clue what this is. It says, do not spray into the eye, so I'm going to assume that it's like a perfume. Let's check it out. So it still doesn't really tell you what it is. It smells like a perfume. I'm assuming it's just a perfume. Ah, oh, it smells really, really good. It smells very fancy. Ah, oh, that smells amazing. You definitely only use one spritz of this because that is very strong, but oh my God, it smells phenomenal. <laughs> There are three things left in the box for this month, and the next thing I'm pulling out is by Starlux. This says Starlux loves BoxyCharm, and I have received Starlux products before, so I'm assuming that this one is specifically made for BoxyCharm. This is the Charmed Ultra Longwear Lip Pencil, and again, by Starlux.com. So I've decided that this lip liner goes perfectly with the color that I have on my lips right now. I want to say this is from last month's Ipsy or BoxyCharm. I really can't keep track, but it matches perfectly and that makes my heart very, very happy. The second to last thing that I'm pulling out of the BoxyCharm box is by Makeup Geek and this is the Powder Blush and this is in the color XOXO. Hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses. And it's a nice full size. Again, in the BoxyCharm box you get all full size products. It's very good packaging and it's a very, very pretty color as well. I don't really wear blush too much, but I've been mentioning a lot in my videos and I'm trying to experiment a little bit more with contouring and using blush and just, I don't know, making it look a little better than just my natural five minute makeup look that I do every single day. So this will be a lot of fun to experiment with. And the very final product that we're getting in the BoxyCharm box from May 2016 is the Brow Gal. This is by Tanya Crooks. This is the clear water resistant eyebrow gel and this says to do your face a favor. Now, I don't do my eyebrows, I don't like shade them in or color them in or whatever the heck you call it, but I will say through sleeping on them and through going to work and just my everyday routines, my eyebrows definitely get very unruly, so I'm pretty pumped to get just a clear gel to kind of keep them in place and to kind of tame them down. So this is very, very exciting for me. And that is it for 
for this video. That's everything I received in the Ipsy bag and the BoxyCharm box from May 2016, and I am very impressed with both of them. Ipsy is only $10 a month, and BoxyCharm is only $21 a month, and I just feel like you get such a bang for your buck. You are definitely getting your money's worth for both of these subscription services, and I just freaking love both of them so much. But that is what I think. I would love to know what you guys think below. Did you like these boxes and bags? Did you not like these boxes and bags? Thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I would truly appreciate it. Just like under a month ago, I just said a big thank you for bringing me to 25,000 subscribers and I just checked yesterday and I'm at 32 now. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I feel like my channel is growing and it's kind of overwhelming in a good way, in a very like exciting way. And I don't know, I'm just very, very grateful for each and every one of you. So thank you guys so much for everyone who subscribed to my channel, everybody who watches my videos, everybody who keeps in touch with me. I love you guys so much and I hope that you're all having a beautiful day. I will talk to you all soon. Bye guys.